happen in the town of Hamburg earlier this afternoon under the weight of all this snow. Reporting in the town of Hamburg, I'm Marley Tuskis. Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, five feet, six inches of snow. That's about up to my nose and my eyes. That, that is how deep the snow is in, uh, in Orchard Park. In fact, Orchard Park, which is south of Buffalo by about eight or nine miles, is where the, where the Buffalo Bills play. Obviously, they're not playing there on Sunday. That game has been moved to Detroit. Those snow squalls, uh, those intense lake effect snows continue. We'll show you that in just a second. Head outside. It's basically quiet just about everywhere in our area, including Providence. Of course, at the top of the newscast, we showed you some uh, snow showers approaching westerly and the south shore. And, and we're just kind of red flagging you here as a, a little bit of a heads up that the roads down there along Route 1 may be wet or maybe even lightly slushy, but by no means are we talking about snow plows. In fact, notice the temperatures along the south coast, Jamestown, Charlestown, uh, Ashaway. It's in the uh, it's in the mid 30. So the pavement is mild and probably most of the, the snow showers that we're tracking down here probably melt on the pavement, but there may be a little slushy coating in spots and it's it's more the exception rather than the rule. Overall, our threat tracker tonight through the weekend is low. In fact, we don't see any widespread precipitation or stormy weather for the next five to six days. All right, notice most of our area is clear and dry. It's this little thin ribbon of moisture along coastal Connecticut approaching uh, westerly and eventually out towards Narragansett. I was looking at some webcams across some um, coastal Connecticut. You know, the snow was coming down a little steady. I did notice some backyard cam uh, web cameras with, you know, the deck was covered a little bit in a coating of snow. So just kind of giving you a heads up that it may be a little thin, slushy coating along parts of Route 1 only along the South Shore. We'll take it back to uh, Buffalo and upstate New York. And this intense snow band has been continuing all day, really since last night. You get in real close. And what's amazing is that this band is only about 20 to 25 miles wide. Here is Buffalo, but it's been training or moving over the same area hour after hour, producing two, three, four inches of snow per hour. So Orchard Park is, is right in here with 66 inches of snow and still climbing this evening and during the overnight. And this is all being caused by cold air uh, passing over relatively warm waters of the Great Lakes. And when that air passes over these warmer waters downwind, it picks up moisture. And on the uh, lee of the lakes, you get these intense snow squalls. That cold air is headed our way for this week. And I mean, nothing extreme tomorrow. In fact, what's nice about Saturday, besides the sunshine and that it's dry, it's not as windy as today, although temperatures are below average. However, on Sunday, the wind will really be jumping up, gust to 30, 35 miles per hour, and with colder air in place. Sunday is actually a frigid day, though dry. Bay forecast has a west breeze turning southwest at 10 to 15, so breezy, just not as windy as today. And the weekend looks cold and dry, but very windy and sharply colder on Sunday. Uh, the Patriots game in Foxborough, boy, bundle up, but at least it's dry. The good news in all of this is that uh, next week is a big travel day. It's pretty busy, and look how quiet it is. Monday, Tuesday, the big travel day Wednesday, not bad. And right now, Thanksgiving Thursday looks cool and dry with temperatures in the mid-40s. So a quiet weekend coming up, but pretty windy and pretty cold on Sunday. All right, Tony, thanks so much. Coming up 